Hey guys, Katie here. Hey, listen, I'm actually just going to shoot this quick video before I head to the pool and I'm taking uh, my daughter and my niece and my nephew because I can and that's the life that I live. I live it truly by design instead of by default. But I wanted to shoot this quick video because I was inspired by uh, another video I watched yesterday who uh, a leader uh, inside the our industry that we're in. His name is Adrian Hines. I was listening to him talk yesterday and he was talking about a video to watch with Anthony Robbins and um, Frank Kern and Jesse whatever. <laughs> but um, anyways, it inspired me to do this video, which is about um, what determines success? What determines success in anything in life? And what I have found is there's, of course, there's a lot of factors that determine success. And the actual word success, sometimes I believe is blown out of proportion because really success is just setting a goal and achieving it. You know, so it's not, you know, some people look at success as they have to maybe make millions of dollars or they have to, um, you know, do all these things that are, um, you know, that are just like, you know, radically different or you have, you know, and, 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 and it can be, okay, it can be, but there's, there's really, uh, you know, I wrote them down. There's really five factors I have found that determine success. And the first one that I wrote down, um, it's actually kind of two parts is consistency and persistency. Are you, are you persistent with being consistent? You know, and let, let's kind of break that down really quick. Well, if you're persistent, you know, uh, if you just have this made up mind that you are just going to do this and you're persistent about it, no matter what it's going to take, you have to make up your mind and say, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Like there's no, there's nothing that's going to stop you from that. You're going to be persistent. And through the persistence, you're going to be consistent with what it is that you have to do to get there. Okay. So what does that mean? That means you're, if you have to buy a product to teach yourself something, or if you have to, um, go to college, or if you have to learn a skill set, whatever it is, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes in order to get there so you can get the results that you're looking for. So you have to be persistent and you have to be consistent with that persistency. So that's the first thing. Uh, the next thing is belief. Do you believe? Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you can do it? And I will tell you, I struggled here for so long. Um, even accomplishing things in my life, uh, you know, and everybody's accomplishments are different, you know, um, but when you don't believe in yourself, when you, when you secretly, I, I, I secretly many times, um, had this doubt in me about a lot of things in life. And when I started to let go, uh, actually it was through the, the, the steps of forgiveness. It was through the steps of forgiving others, forgiving myself. I started to believe in myself more because really I was holding on to things that I shouldn't have been holding on to. And I had these beliefs that were lies. Basically they were lies in my life that no longer needed to be there. It was a mindset that no longer needed to be there. And I had to, to decide uh, to leave that mindset. And a lot of that, I, you know, in order to start believing in myself, I had to get around people that believed in me too. I had to get around people that were bettering themselves. I, I had to get away from anybody that was not going in the same direction as me. Um, not that we have to be going in the exact same direction, but as long as you're bettering yourself, personally bettering, bettering yourself, those are the kind of people I look to hang around. I looked around, hang around people where I'm the dumbest one in the room. I really do. If I'm the dumbest one in the room, I'm in the right room. I'm serious. And I want to be in a place where I'm always taking notes. So belief is so important. So that's the second thing. Uh, the third one is you don't ever quit. You don't ever quit. How do you know you're going to succeed? It's because you don't quit. It's going to bust eventually. It's going to break open. And I'm telling you, once you break through, through whatever it is you're trying to break through, and it can become a game at times, right? Uh, success can be a game. It really can. And it does become that to people. And that's why we crave it. We desire it. Um, and actually, your design 
or your desire proves your design. So if you desire to be greater, that proves your design, that proves really who you are, it actually proves who your character is. Um, you know, people perceive you uh, as being different than who you truly are. Who, you, What you do in private, what you do uh, where, where people aren't looking, that is your character. So um, don't allow uh, outside influences to... to um, make you take agreement with things that are that are lies because your character is really what you do behind closed doors and I know a lot of people that they may be out in the marketplace or maybe out in the world they may not look like a whatever you know we always misjudge people right but really truly they're people of integrity you just don't know until you get to know them so you know anyways that's your character so that's uh, don't ever quit okay so don't ever quit that's how you know you're gonna succeed that determines success it really does uh, number four clarity what are you clear on? What is your vision? Do you even know what you're walking towards? I have found that um, unhappiness has been due to me striving for something I didn't even know what I that I wanted. I didn't even know what I wanted, and I, but I kept striving for something, and it actually kept making me feel more miserable and more unhappy than it did uh, happiness. You know, so what are you clear on? What's your vision? What do you want to do with your life? Um, are, are you are you that person that's looking to find your purpose? Or are you just in that place where it's like you're so broke you can't pay attention? You know what I mean? So what are you clear on? And clarity really is, I, I think, one of the top five that really determines success, okay? I think there's a lot of factors, like I said, but um, clarity is huge. Um, I think out of all of them, I have to say that's probably the I don't they all hold they all hold powerful meanings right um, but clarity is really big uh, the last thing is results that's the fifth thing results look at what gets results okay most people focus on the wrong things like for example when people go into the business for themselves they're so focused on getting ready to get ready but that gets them no results you have to focus on what brings in the income which is a result it's not about the money right if we're focused on the money you're focused on the wrong thing you want to be focused on the purpose of why you went into business or, or or how you want to help people or whatever the case may be. As a matter of fact, that's where your focus needs to be is you want to focus more on helping others than you do yourself and that will make you successful. Uh, however, uh, results really determine your success. And really, gosh, man, I have to add a sixth one. You got to work hard on yourself. You do. You got to work harder on yourself than you do anything else. If you don't work hard on yourself, what happens is whatever we believe within ourselves, that's what we attract into our life. And I was actually talking to my sister the other day and I said, you know what? I always focused on jerks in the marketplace. I, I did. I, I focused on jerks a lot. Jerks that I just wanted to bulldozer over and said that you're mean. You need to get out of the, the marketplace before I take you down. And, and that's just kind of my nature because I have this uh, desire to stick up for people. I have this desire to stick up for the little guy. Um, I have this desire to help people. And when I see people being jerks, I'm going to let you know it. Uh, but every time I focused on them, I attracted more of them. So you have to be careful about what it is you think about, what it is you believe, because you end up reaping and sowing it all into your life. And it's not an easy thing to do. However, what you've got to do is focus more on yourself. It's focus on loving yourself. Focus on forgiving yourself. Focus on uh, being good to others. Focus on treating others how you want to be treated, right? That golden rule. Um, it, it's never going to go away. And it's really um, the, the simple rules uh, or, or principles or laws, however you want to look at it, is, is really what... Um, you, you want to focus on you know in my opinion there's nothing new under the sun there really isn't you're gonna hear a thousand different gurus or a million different gurus or leaders or coaches or whatever tell you the same thing a different way okay it all success has been around for ages so let's go over that again and I added one to this number one you've got to be persistent 
And you've got to be consistent with that persistency. Are you consistent with those uh, actions every single day? Are you walking towards, it may not have to be grandiose, but there has to be some step towards your goal each and every day. Okay, it's these little steps that get you there. Uh, the second one, belief. Do you believe in yourself? It's really, you know, what you believe you walk towards, you know, you take action on. Um, and so you got to look at, if, if you don't believe in yourself, what's the root of that issue? Get rid of up that forgive that bless that and release it off your life uh, the third thing don't ever quit that definitely determines success you might fail a hundred million thousand times but it only takes one time for you to succeed you will eventually break through you will eventually bust uh, number four clarity what are you clear on what is your vision a man without a vision will perish what are you clear on write that down right now actually stop what you're doing what are you clear on in your life what are you walking towards what do you have in your life that you want or you don't want anymore where are you going to start laying the line and, and drawing boundaries within yourself right uh, because you teach people how to treat you Number five, results. It's all about results. Start focusing on what brings in results instead of what, instead of all the, you know, the, like, like I said earlier, you know, when you're in business for yourself, stop focusing on getting ready to get ready. Focus on results. Get in the game. That's going to get a result. It may not be the result that you want, but it's results. So your results are going to determine your success. And lastly, number six, because I added this because it's really so important. If you want to work hard on yourself, then you do anything else. Then you do a product that you're selling or something that you're writing or whatever the case may be. Because as you're writing, as you're doing these videos as whatever it is that you do okay um, you know for me if there's things that are in me that may not project maybe through this video it can project through it non-verbally and even so even I purposefully will think about what is my intention with this video so before I shot this video I thought about it and I wrote it down and I you know I even did some research before I actually shot this video and I really broke down what I've personally been through with myself uh, through the years of working on myself personally. And so anyways, guys, I hope this blesses you today. If you are someone that's looking to find some kind of success in your life and you've never had it and you're frustrated and you're looking for some kind of breakthrough, maybe it's a financial breakthrough. Look, you came to the right place. I promise you, you're not watching this video for no reason. I want you to stop what you're doing. I want you to click that link right below. You see that link below? I want you to click it. I want you to start filling out that form. I want you to put in your email, start filling out that form. And I want to personally meet you you. So click that link, stop what you're doing, make a decision, okay? Make a decision to change today. Make a decision to forgive yourself today. Make a decision that no matter how many mistakes you've made in the past, that today is going to be the day as you're watching this video, today is going to be the day that you're going to start filling out that form. As a matter of fact, I see you filling out that form right now. You're going to click that link, you're going to fill out that form, and you're going to personally meet me and there's going to be something that, because, you know, as you're listening to the sound of my voice, right, there's going to be something that's going to draw you to me. And the reason why that is, is because I know where I'm going. Where am I going? Well, right now I'm helping hundreds of people right now as we speak find their vision, find their purpose, find their dreams. And it happens to be through that link right below this video. So I want you to click that link. And I want to meet you. I can't wait to meet you. I'll see you on the inside. Be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.